Aussie Central guinea pig rescue. Here we go. So we have got two little boys that have come to see us for a little health check and I've quickly looked at them just briefly over. They're already bonded with another two boys and this is something that uh, we're covering in a couple of videos for you but um, you can actually bond a number of boys together but you need to be prepared for changes or to things to go wrong. In this instance these boys are over the age of two which is what we say is over the hormonal window and by that they're really less likely to have an argument if for example they were both wanting one carrot one's more than likely to say okay I'll go have grass or I'll have, <laughs> I'll have something else. So they're a little bit more sensible, a bit like adult humans really. <laughs> and in that sense, they can bond really quite well. So anyway, well done. These little fellows are in a little herd of four boys, but they've come in for a check. And uh, I just wanted to go through a few things on camera that you can observe with piggies like this. So the first is that they've had their hair trimmed at the, the back area which means that they've had a bit of a long tail bun that's been sitting there and you know there's no harm in cutting that back but when you do cut it back it will regrow so when you find like the, the different short short end pieces that'll eventually just just grow back down um, when guinea pigs have been struggling though with food and dietary concerns their hair is really quite dry and in really severe cases that you know you'll have seen in other rescues not with these boys they're, they're just lovely but with other rescues it's almost brittle it's almost like it will break in two and when guinea pigs are full health their coat is really soft to touch really lovely a bit like you'd want your own hair to be so they're sort of factors that we look at when we, we talk about hair oh, you're talking to me what's his name smalls S'mores. So this is S'mores. What a cute name. S'mores. Let's have a look at you. So he's actually really good. You've taken excellent care of him. And you got him a month ago. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's gained about 200 grams in weight, which is fantastic. And, uh, you know, a guinea pig gaining weight is always better than a guinea pig losing weight. So we don't want to see that. There's some question about their eyesight, which we're going to investigate in a little bit. And the ears are really quite good. Um, some attention from me. <laughs> yeah, have you put any ivy back on them? Yeah. Yeah, good. I'll probably do that again, I think. I did it when I first got them. Okay, did it what, just once? Twice. Or twice? twice? Twice. Yeah, I'd probably do it again now because I can see um, just some hair starting to come away and we find with with um, piggies, when their immunity is down, particularly as they age, they've, they've got less of an immunity and they don't last as long with the Ivermec treatment. So they've been through a lot, they're gaining weight, they're looking really good. I would actually do it again now because it's been a month, yeah. So rather than relying on their immunity, I'd just do that now. So there's a little bit that's come off there. Just, there's a bit, just first signs of hair coming away with, um, skin at the end. Hello. Yeah, so I'd nip it in the bud early. That's all. Let's have a look underneath. And their boy bits are really good. Now, when we talk about checking and cleaning boy bits, um, you'll see it on a lot of different videos where People think you need to be intrusive every single time with a male guinea pig. You don't, because if you can 
feel what's actually occurring there, you don't need to examine further. They are, after all, able to look after themselves somewhat. But what to look for? Two things. When you hold your male piggy up, if you lift them up so that their back is supported against you, your bottom finger can automatically feel this area here, which is what we call the perineal sac or anal sac. It's not the anus, it is the perineal sac or anal sac. And it's the area where it can have long hair and other things caught. Now there's a little sort of lump that I can feel just here at the edge. So we will have a quick look with that. It's probably a bit of long hair. But the other important thing is his boy bit, his little um, pee pee down the front here. When you check whether you need to examine this or not, you need to feel with your finger all the way from the abdomen down very lightly. And in this instance, I can feel a bump around here. There's a bump. So when there's a difference in the texture and there is a bit of a bump or um, change to that smooth area, then you need to investigate further. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, let me just pop some gloves on. Can I give them back to you for a moment? I think it's awful how people constantly poke and prod male guinea pigs but it also stresses people that are thinking of having guinea pigs as pets if they've got to do that to a guinea pig all the time i mean who wants to do that with their pet seriously <laughs> no you don't so knowing when to do it is really the key but yes you do need to be aware they've got areas down there but you don't do it all the time so and if they're being housed well, kept well, it's very rare. It's when you do their nails, once every six weeks, you check whether you need to go further than that. Thanks. Is, um, you know, to be seen. Let's put a little towel here. All right. Just going to get you to lie here. And the first thing we're going to do is just have a look at his little boy bit. Now, to do that, you need to press down on the area above and around. And you'll see it will come out. Here we are. And when it does, we can take a careful look at what's going on. And there we go. There's that lump that I can feel. Can you see it there? It's all that smegma. We can just take that off with a little cotton tip. Just some water in that. So we can just take that off. It's only just started. It's just caught up around the edge there. And before it becomes a problem and starts to build up, we can just remove it. That's the only thing. Nothing further. Good. That's it. There you go, good boy. And then we can put that away. We don't need to go any further. Now, this little lump that's down here, again, to check the anal sac, we just move it open a little bit, then we can start to see it. And there it is, right there. With the other end, I'm just going to lift that out. It's usually very stinky. And my guess is long hair, which, if you look at it, is long hair. <laughs> so he's um, just been collecting a little bit of that in that area. We just literally wipe that away like this. That's all we need to do. It's the tiniest little bit. Now, little boy bit, we can put that back. There we go. All good. <laughs> so very painless and not too invasive at all which is um a really good thing all right so he is good he gets full marks Ooh, he has sharp nails does he um i'll oh i think he does do you okay sweet oh it's well, cool, it's is it? a milo. oh thank you so much vegan milo mm -hmm. point out vegan mm -hmm. vegan milo mm -hmm. which is a new thing mm -hmm. since i've discovered it it's Oh, really? yes. oh, so what is this fellow's name? Mochi. Mochi. Mochi's got a bit of a dirty it's okay. ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah. Funny eye. Yes. Right. I know Mochi. Let's have a look at you. Oh, he has, indeed. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah, he has. It's like wet. It's when did it come up like this? When it, when I got him, he had it. He had it then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because guinea pigs get a condition called fatty eye, which is also known as PI, but 
what you typically see there is the underside that's actually swollen and dislodged but in this case here it's the lacrimal tissue around the corner of the eye it's it's a little inflamed I'm just going to take a careful look at it there's nothing there's no damage there but it's very much bothering him so I'm just going to wipe the liquid away from there first so we can have a careful look at the center what's happened to your eye Checking we have no ingrown eyelashes which can occur. There isn't. Okay, what I would like you to do is apply that area with saline which is salty water mm -hmm. and if you do that twice a day for the next week mm -hmm. we can watch what the effect of it is saline is incredibly powerful as an anti-inflammatory and an antibacterial as well as an antimicrobial so it has lots of benefits and on the eye in particular for guinea pigs it's brilliant absolutely brilliant um, it doesn't sting and it doesn't hurt them at all but the power of it is really, really amazing. We see this all the time. So I'd like to try that um, just to see if we can settle that tissue down. It's a little bit red up the top, so it looks like he's had maybe a hay poke up higher in that tissue and it's still trying to settle down. The saline will actually help with that. Um, let's just do your ears. And then we'll have a look down below. Sorry, what was this fellow's name? Mochi. Mo mochi. Mochi. So he's mochi. S'mores and mochi. Right, well, that's just softening. So look at your bottom. So same sort of check down here. These boys being longer haired, you need to be aware of that. So again, feeling underneath. Actually, there's no little lumps there with him, which is great. So maybe a little start of one. There was a yeah, just the start of one that's there. So we'll remove that. You can just ever so slightly feel it, but it's tiny. And to a degree, you don't want to be, you know, prodding and poking all the time. And again, it's this long hair that's getting caught with these boys. Let's just get rid of that little clump for you. And this bit here feels fairly smooth. Oh, actually, there's a bit of a lump there, so we're going to investigate. So we'll just, there is a little lump. Let's just take a look. Let's go. So there's nothing obvious there. Nothing obvious. Oh, I think it might have been more around the dirt that's here. So this caught up on the outside. But that's good. So, you little guy, let me take this off. It's like, get off, get off. With longer haired guinea pigs and collecting long hair in the perineal sac, if you keep the hair shorter, 
at the back it, it just prevents it getting caught up there as much it does actually help um, if you're wanting to have them as long coated then that's one of the regular little checks you need to to do with them there we go all right so when we shorten their hair shorten their coats this one's had quite a bit cut off you can see the scissoring lines but scissoring it here at this bottom point I'm going to show you just keeping it shorter here this is the bit that actually gets caught up in that area so if you just cut that shorter at that level mm -hmm. then it stops it getting caught every time they shuffle backwards and forwards it doesn't get caught in that area as much so it's just a small little thing that that helps with their maintenance so his eye we're going to get some saline we'll put some on here yeah I'm very happy that that's what will actually do the trick The other thing is when we do apply the saline to also use a Q-tip and to move from the front of the eye midway, he'll actually close his eyes as I come close, you can see him close it, and just to wipe out, like I was doing before, mm -hmm. to wipe out towards the centre, which actually removes any um, of the liquid that's sticking there and will then crystallise and can go into the eye and then mm -hmm. further irritate it. Just wiping it, keeping that really flushed and clean is going to be key. So we'll go get him some saline and then we're going to watch them and see how they're moving about. Let's do that. Okay, so what I've done is make up some saline solution and I've made it super, super strong, which is pink rock salt. But the way that you can make this up is essentially seeing that the salt crystals have dissolved in the water because you don't want to use anything that's undissolved which is usually at the bottom on the eye so the liquid at the top is what we're going to put on the eye come on down little fellow that's it and to do this eye it's better to have a cloth over him so he feels a little bit protected on this side just by cutting down his visual space but what we're going to do with the tissue is get some of the saline we're just going to drizzle that onto the eye like that see right in the tin. i don't think his vision is very good, good no, i didn't think either all. Like no it's frightening isn't it Hi. Thank you. Yeah, I think this is absolutely perfect. Good eye. So just dropping little bits there, but I'm holding that upper lid to make sure it drops onto the lacrimal tissue. And then just gently rubbing both sides of the eye, we know it's actually getting in there. To finish, again, just a little bit of saline on the end of a Q-tip and just to wipe forward with any residue. We're going to leave the bulk of that in the eye. That's it. If you do that twice a day, just for the next five days, mm -hmm. we'll see if that settles it right down. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go and watch them. One of the things with guinea pigs when they have sight issues is that they don't necessarily know where to hide. So they feel very comfortable being out in the open. And you can see s'mores, it's s'mores isn't it? It's out in the open, yeah. S'mores over there is out in the open. Happy to nibble, but he, he has found the hidey. If we move the hidey, that's another interesting test that um, we can do because he will need to find where that actually is. Now, when guinea pigs are naturally frightened, they want to hide because they're a prey-based animal. So it is a natural thing to hide, particularly here. There's lots of people around, noises happening. But s'mores is almost, you know, he's, he's just oblivious to that. And that's because his sight is impaired. 
what we're going to do is just completely remove this tunnel for a moment and okay, I'm just going to pat you guys so you go in different directions this little fellow over here he actually has impaired sight in one eye it's the injured eye and it's very much um, a problem to him you can see s'mores is sort of feeling around with his head he's using his sound and their sound or their hearing becomes really strong because that's one of the the um, senses that they get to use more when they're without sight so he's using that heavily now if I put this back in put on an angle and I've put it in where the shade is actually the same and uniform on the whole area so again he's having to feel his way around he's wandering about but I'm going to move that direction just so that we can see what they do the s'mores has found it right away so that's good <clears throat> this zigzag pattern they're using though is really typical of sight issues in guinea pigs let's see what you do yeah. you can't see that it's a tunnel this time so it's confused him <laughs> they can actually they also get um to be able to feel heat and cool temperatures very well in terms of sunlight and shade which is another way that they find out if they're hidden or not is simply by the warmth that they feel on their body the sounds of other guinea pigs being around and these are some of the features to look for Okay, now this time, what I'm going to do is make a noise over here. Oh, he's gone that way, so I'll do it this way. You can see he picked up the sound. <clears throat> he's found the outside of the tunnel and he's then gone in. Mm. I don't think he's fully blind. No, I think I he's no. He's got no. Well, he the s'mores has definitely got sight issues in both eyes. <clears throat> he can see light and dark, but his vision is not great. But the other fellow, he's got it in one eye. His other eye is fine. Yeah. He's got really good vision. Another way that you can tell that is that he'll lead with that eye. Whenever he's, if, if you come into the room or if you're doing something with them, that's the eye that they can focus from because they'll put the eye that they can see from towards you. And that's what he's doing. <laughs> so where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd the tunnel go? Okay. They're super cute. <laughs>